Hey guys and welcome back to another new video. The white walls I think just look really amazing. It makes the room look so much brighter. And uh, there's this mess right here so I'm gonna have to clean that up first. Alright, so today we are working on this. Um, this is a small little tank. It's like 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters, so it's a little cube. And let's take a look at this. You can see I still haven't trimmed it, so I'm gonna need to trim that. But yeah, we've got some rocks here. I got this from Aqua Review. Um, amazing store. Let me clean the table up first. Much better. We have some space to work with. So we've got the rocks there. I'm not so sure what type of rock this is, but I'm heading down to Aqua Review later so I can show you guys. I've got some soil. Um, this is just a cheap like five, six dollar bag of soil and I used it before so it's just leftovers. I've got a nice light here that I got on Amazon and we got the tank. This is a Kotobuki, I have no idea how you pronounce that, leg glass? Leg glass? Leg Le glass. I have no idea. But yeah, we're gonna be setting up a little Iwagumi scaped tank and we're gonna fill it up. I was thinking if I should do a terrarium or a tank and I think I'm going with the idea of a tank because I just want to have water in there. Now let's go and get some plants for this little tank. Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to stop right here But I just stopped because this right here is one of my favorite views ever There's rice fields and then just after the rice field is a whole city I, I just think it's really beautiful and you can see over here there's more rice fields going on. Hopefully you saw in the in the little cinematic the montage just now, but check that out. This is just so beautiful. All right, now here we are at Aqua Review. Look how beautiful it looks from the outside. This store is really really nice. Love all the wooden boxes for the rocks, the driftwood. And there's that giant pond right there with some goldfish and rice fish in together. And let me show you the rocks I got. So this is it right here. I got some of these smaller size rocks and they're called Yamaya Ishi, which is some kind of mountain rock, a rock from the mountains. Um, but let's go and take a look inside and look for some plants. So here I've picked out a few. There's Monte Carlo right here, Micranthemum SP. There's Glossostigma. Uh, this here is Cuba and some dwarf hair grass um, but the owner has told me that um, it would be better if I used the seed type planting putting down a seed into the soil and letting it grow out it would be less risky because these plants may require CO2 and good lighting well some of them do require CO2 but Monte Carlo right here is a pretty hardy plant and it may work but I think using the seed method would be better but take a look at this tank right here just look at all the plants the plants growing above the water it's just absolutely beautiful and if you want to see more pictures go check out my Instagram and um, Check out Aqua Review's Instagram as well. I'll put it down in the description below. But look at the rainbow fish there. Oh my goodness. These guys are so beautiful. All right, so we get to see some feeding. Oh wow, look at those rainbow fish. And all the tetras, that's amazing. Look at all the colors. The rummy nose tetras, the colors of the faces, the red colors, super vibrant, really nice. This is one of the most amazing sights of this tank. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and uh, I'll, I'll keep trying to get more awesome shots like this but I think that's just really amazing. And the food they're giving is some ADA food in this little glass 
container thing. It's really cool. You push this and some food will sprinkle out of there. Pretty cool design. So I'm here at the aquarium site, the pet section at the home center. They have birds, turtles, fish, geckos. And right here, there are some seeds, carpeting seeds for aquariums. And um, there's three types. There's this one right here. It's just a normal carpet. I'm not so sure what plant though. And then there's this called the Hygro SP Tiger and the Hygro SP Large. And I think this is a smaller size. And this will turn to this right here. Isn't this pretty cool? This is just using the carpeting seeds that I just showed you. And it's a nice Iwagumi style with all the rocks. I think it looks beautiful. And then there's scuba divers as well. And right here, they have some Tropica 1-2 grow plants. You can see not a huge selection, but I think it's still pretty nice that they have it. And then they have the seeds here as well, so that's pretty cool. Let's get some of those. I've made it back with the seeds. We've got the tank right here, the soil, the light, the rocks. I've rinsed out the rocks. You can see I've got five pieces of rock right there. So let's go ahead, open this up, and then pour some soil in because that's the first step. So I've got the layout of how I want this thing to look. I'm really liking the three rocks right there. There's actually four. There's a fourth rock underneath this large one um, just to hold it in place. This is nice because you'll be able to see it from every angle. So now the steps for these seeds say to wet the soil. Oh wow, so it comes in small little packets like this. How many are there inside? There's two more, so there's three of these little packets. I'll show you what this looks like. I'll pour some out. Fine little, it looks like fish food actually, but we're gonna sprinkle this around inside this tank. All right, and check that out. Look at all the seeds that I planted. That I plant, do you plant seeds? Um, I think you plant seeds, right? But yeah, check that out. And um, you can see I missed a few spots. Some got on the rock, that's okay. Next step is to mist it down with a spray and then we leave it, let it sit for seven to 14 days and then it should come up. But for you guys, you don't have to wait that long. I'll be right back. All right, it's actually been around four months. It's been quite a long while. A lot of things have changed in this room since since the beginning of this video. Um, yeah, I've set the tank up. In the start of this video, this tank wasn't even set up. Uh, but yeah, now you can see this fish swimming inside. Look at all the ember tetras looking good. Plants are looking good. Still haven't got the lily pipes yet. I really need one because there's not much movement in the upper section of this tank. You can kind of see. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this tank though. Everything's doing well. Uh, I need to give fertilizers today. I haven't done that yet. So back on with this tank. I just took the cover off. So yeah, the cover's right here. But you can see it's been growing like crazy. Uh, it's a nice Iwagumi setup. Now I might have to trim this. I'm not sure how that will work though. This tank has not been doing well, the little terrarium. There was one point of time where the lights just turned off and the plants didn't do so well. The hydrocotyl in the front and the S repins that were in the back, they didn't make it, but the hair grass and the moss, the Christmas moss has been doing excellent. And then this new little setup, this is my mini Anubias farm with some moss in there. I think there's peacock moss in there, but this is Anubias Nana Petite. And the substrate for this is just anthracite. I'll, I'll put that thing right here, anthracite. Not so sure uh, what that is, but yeah, that's just the substrate for this. And the Anubias Nana Petite has been growing slow, but at least it's growing. So now let's go and put water in this little tank. I'm gonna do a water change on this tank later, so I might as well just use some of this water. guys think about that I think it looks really nice yeah the plants are purling already is that purling yeah they're giving off oxygen it's kind of cool we could actually have fish in here I've seen like no filter setups but I'm not really confident yet um, 
and I don't want to risk anything, you, you know what I mean? I think it's nice the way it is, so I'll just leave it like this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss stuff like this. Look at that tank right there, looking beautiful. So many more things to come. I'll see you next time.